what is going on guys hope you guys are doing well so if you're like me you probably were under the impression that we had finally received our final updates for battlefield one but today that proved not to be quite true as we received our summer update from dice this time though being a little bit different and less on the content end no more of new weapons or new maps or even new game modes uh, but dice really just wanted to give out um, some improvements on the battlefield which of course i very much appreciate because wasn't quite sure if they were going to keep things like the zeppelin behemoth on Lopco Pass being the true behemoth that it was. Now we're seeing a little bit of changes coming to Lopco Pass on Shock Operations. No longer will the Zeppelin behemoth be available on the second, third, or fourth sectors, uh, but only will be available for that very first sector. So they've done a few tweaks to the Shock Operations, which is what I'd imagine they would end up doing. Uh, so if you guys wanna read more about that, you can check out the patch notes that I'll link in the comments below. What's also pretty cool is they've unlocked some promotional dog tags alongside the CTE dog tag and we even see the Sinai dog dog tag so that's pretty cool to see us getting more of the dog tags. Personally for me though it would have been pretty cool to have maybe um, some different dog tags we can have challenges to unlock uh, but I guess they've kind of given that to us already with our road to Battlefield 5 is now updated for us. Uh, so now we have the month of August to grind out some new dog tags uh, that will be available for us alongside um, some more of the Aras skin that will be showing up uh, for different weapons. So we're going to be seeing it coming uh, to the MP28 alongside the Selb Slaughter M1916. So of course we're going to get our BF1 counterpart to both of these exclusive skins so be sure to be watching out for when these show up available on your road to battlefield 5 plan so pretty cool stuff i do like having these little skins and dog tags show up for us uh, to go after and achieve i think these small little things go a very long way in the battlefield community so as much as i would have loved to have maybe a you know new map or more weapons or something along the lines of that having opportunity to get exclusive skins and dog tag and grind out so we have something to show off to say that we were there way before Battlefield 5 launched. So besides that, kind of the big update for this summer update was uh, the enhancement for 4K to the Xbox X. I know right when the Xbox X first launched, saw a lot of people asking DICE when this was going to be enhanced for the new Xbox X. Uh, but it finally has come along, so what I'm hearing is all you have to do is just update the game and it should already be enhanced for you. So that's pretty cool, something that I was kind of expecting would eventually roll out, something that I think we should be sure should be there at launch for Battlefield 5, as I'm expecting the uh, 4K ability will be there for the Xbox X. I'd imagine if they were really already talked about way before um, we ever heard anything about Battlefield 5 and it being in World War II, we were hearing things uh, coming out about it being visually stunning and all these type of things. So it's what Battlefield is kind of known for. So I'd imagine if they have the technology there and Xbox being a pretty big part of that, uh, that they're going to make sure that they have that um, readily available for us enhanced in 4K at launch. Uh, but that's it for you guys today. Again, always appreciate you guys being here. I am Livin' and I'll catch you guys again later.